all the benchmarks for Apple's brand new M2 chip have just leaked all over the internet. And we are talking about the confirmed benchmarks from Geekbench. Cinebench, GFX Bench, and we got graphics and everything included. And to be honest with you, I'm actually surprised and totally impressed by the performance of the Mac M2 because it's beating out the Apple's own claim. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So here onto the left side, we got the Mac M2, and in the right, we got the old Mac M1 chip. And right away, you can see the Geekbench scores are much higher. Onto the M2 chip, we got single core score of 19. 90 and the multi core score of 8928 and honestly this is a really good performance you can see m2 chip is quite a more faster because it's got that 3.49 gigahertz base clock whereas the m1 has only 3.20 gigahertz and also you should take account that the models of m2 and m1 that we are comparing are both of them are having the same 16 gigs of memory and m2 chip can actually go higher it's got 24 gigabytes of maximum memory capacities so the 24 gigabyte model could actually score higher than this particular 16 gig m2 version talking about the single core performance and here on to the m2 side then in basically all the aspects are pumped up to the higher level we got better machine learning capability ray tracing sdr phase detection then all those aspects are better in the m2 version now i know guys a lot of you guys are maybe saying geekbench doesn't really show the real world performance but talking about the actual workload thankfully we got the cinebench score leaks as well for the actual multi-threaded multi-core in cinebench apple's m2 chip is 11.6 percent faster and in the single core performance, it's 13.5% faster. So how much better is the M2 chip actually? Well, on the single core performance, M2 is 11.56% better than the M1 chip, while in the multi-core score, it's actually 19.45% better than the M1 chip. And there are currently only two mainstream consumer chips that are faster than the M2 in terms of single core performance, that is the i9-12900K and 12900KF. But keep in mind that they are desktop chips, and those are boosted up to 5.2 GHz according to the Intel claims. So honestly i was totally overblown and guys the great news is you can pre-order the macbook air m2 in the next month so this is gonna be really awesome and we got two variant over here we got m2 chip with 8 core gpu and it's got 256 gigs of ssd storage while the 10 core gpu version has 512 gig of ssd storage so guys which one will you choose honestly i'm so much excited for the macbook air m2 what do you think about it do you let me know in the comments down below make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys signing out